The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merlin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camelhot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelot. <sighs> My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze lever was pure genius. Now hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Ulthar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze lever one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Log, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad, Moth, bad. A good inventor always has his invention book. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament, my answer is no! Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight, you're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention please. Silence please, silence for the king. Pray silence. The king is speaking. Uh, shh. I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh oh, visitors. Humans, Humans in Camelot. Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelot Law Book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor. Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Orphire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, dearest. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camelhot will be mine. Away, Mervyn!
humans. Pah! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived. Calm down. Our opponent can be defeated. Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, yes sire! sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wacko. Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash. That's an English word, you know. Ooh! Blind idiot! Oh, great. I see Sir Gasvane's been using room service again. I could most likely use this in case I make a mess, or perhaps for something else. It fits like it was made to go there. Now, if only I could get this thing to spin. Flicker, I've got great news. You're going to help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you compete in a tournament. To become a knight, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the Cave of Dilemma. Leave alive and you're a knight. Good luck! Bye! Well, that sure simplified things. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. I love it when an invention comes together. Dishpan claws are now a thing of the past. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now, how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. What's all this then? Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention, the automatic dishwasher. I see it's run off steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. Perhaps later I can help you find some further uses for it. This is... I wouldn't d Excuse me, Flame? Flicker, have you done it? Are you a squire? Uh, I'm close, Flame. Honest. Hurry, Flicker. I refuse to marry against my will. Do you have any more advice about becoming a knight? Nope, but here's a kiss for good luck. Could we try that good luck kiss thing again?
I beg your pardon. Yeah. I need your help. I have to locate the Knights of the Square Table. I've got a semi-enchanted map. It will show you where you want to go, even if you don't know you want to go there. The map really is enchanted. I can see where all four knights have gone. and face your conqueror, Sir George. You've got the wrong castle, so blind as a... Oh, just look at the time. King... Hey? burn if you wind up here. This is the home for the grimly insane, where they treat clinically depressed storybook characters. Magic beans. This one looks good. <coughs> Excuse me, but your hair... It's too long, I know. Otherwise, you never would have said such a thing. Please calm yourself, miss. Yablanowitz! Rapunzel Yablanowitz! And how can I be calm with all this long hair? Oh, what long hair? You don't know what it was like. Everywhere I turned, it was, Rapunzel, throw down your hair! Rapunzel, throw some more hair down! Hey, I didn't get any hair over here! Before long, I was throwing down hair all over the place. It was making me crazy! That's exactly what I was thinking. Crazy. Luckily, Dr. Fraud is a man who knows how to make a commitment. In fact, he's committed everybody here. He's really helped me see the light. Getting the hair out of your eyes probably helped. Forget I said anything. Most people do. Mother is a... A, a dragon. Oh, good sir, I don't have time for this. Ah, you have a classic case of scale envy. Now, take off that silly costume. This isn't a costume. I'm a dragon. And you, sir, are a fraud. Yes, I am Dr. Sigmund Ford. Specialist in the disturbed, the confused, and the loony nut boys. What a mess. Sir Burnaby is trapped. Excuse me? I notice you're eating flies. Indeed I am, dear boy. They're low in fat, high in fiber, and the way they buzz on the way down gives them a little added zing. I didn't know humans enjoyed flies. Neither did I. Oh, fancy that. Humans like the same things we frogs do. Oh, so you're a frog? More or less. Aren't you cold? Nudity leads to that. I usually wrap myself in a lily pad when I catch a chill, but that's a little impractical now. If you don't mind me saying so, you look pretty human. For a frog, that is. Hard to miss, isn't it? I blame the princess who kissed me last summer. Eccentric girl. Good family, though. You're right. I'm... Is there anything I could do to help? If you should come across a princess in an affectionate mood, do send her my way. Puckered up, if possible. And not too much lipstick. There's a good chap. Sorry to bother you. I see you're eating. Ah, curing you will be my life's work. Ah, curing you will be my life's work. Release me! That 
was remarkable. All it took was Princess Flame's kiss to turn you back into your original form. That'd be I imagine you'd giggle if you could. And most of your IQ went away when you transformed, didn't it? So I'm probably standing here talking to a frog who doesn't understand a word I say. Hmm. When did you first realize that you were a dragon? When I learned my colors and noticed I was green. Come down and face your conqueror, Sir George. You've got the wrong castle, so blind as a bat. Perfect. It sank right into the ground. Now, if I know my fairy tales, this shouldn't take very long. Unhand my nose, you stone blind stalker! King Allfire! What happened to Sir George? Am I in trouble? Confound you, Gasflame! This is the last straw! Oh my word, look at my poor tomato plants. Looks as though you've got brown roots, sire. Blast it all, I've worked so hard on them. There, there. If you like, I can give you my mum's recipe for fertilizer that will solve all your problems. That's rather stand up of you, Gas Flame. All is forgiven with that earlier business. Uh, so, anyway, how's your mum these days? <laughs> Buried her last week. <laughs> Dead, you know. Oh, just a minute, sir. Flicker lad, thanks for the help. It was my pleasure, Sir Knight. Just as it would be my pleasure to serve under you as your squire. Oh, dash it all. You know me and squires. I'm a special case. As a token of my appreciation, though, here is a lot of Peruvian coal. Gee, thanks. Coal. Off to the square table room, Sir Gasflame. Follow me. Your Highness is most resourceful. Is that new chainmail? It's groovy. Do you really like it? Are you recovered from that embarrassing bout of narcissism tonight? Oh yes, Flicker. That was indeed a torturous, uh, yet somehow stimulating spell. Thank you for saving me. I'd consider the debt paid in full if you would take me on as your squire. Oh, bother. I'd love to, but I couldn't do a thing for you. I'm way over my squire quota. Try one of the other nights, lad. Come on now. No pouty faces. Here's a gift for you. I'm honored, Sir Knight. This is clearly a family heirloom, handed down through generations. Don't be silly. I have another 30 crates in my boudoir. Lance, the royal mole, is ruining the streets of Camelhot. I'd rather not lug it around. But I don't know... Hello up there! How's it going? You say you're from the Union? No, oh, I can't hear you way up here. No, oh, I'm coming down. I'm sorry, but I'm not from the Union. 
Forget it, kid. It's time for a break anyway. The Sign Washers Union says we get a break every 13 minutes. You need a lot of breaks when you work on stilts, you know. This could be helpful in getting over one of my worst fears. Hands off, son. If I can't climb up and clean this side... Lad, you're messing with a dragon's livelihood. I need to be able to clean these signs. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't think that will help. It's the Royal Catapult Tower. All I have to do is aim the... I got it! That's one. Chalk up a second one. Scratch the third one. I missed one, but I can still win. Four down. Halfway there. That's five. Six. Got this by the tail. Seven down. Victory is near. That makes eight. Hey, that's nine. Darn, I lose. All I have to do is... I got it. That's one. Chalk up a second one. Scratch the third one. Four down. Darn, miss by a whisker. I can't miss again. Darn, I lose. All I have to... I got it. That's one. Chalk up a second one. Scratch the third one. Darn, missed by a whisker. I can't miss again. Four down. Halfway there. That's five. Six. Got this by the tail. Seven down. Victory is near. That makes eight. Miss too many. No use continuing on. All I have to do is aim the catapult, adjust the tension, and... I got it. That's one. Chalk up a second one. Scratch the third one. Darn, missed by a whisker. I can't miss again. Miss too many. No use cont... All I have to do is... I got it. That's one. Chalk up a second one. Scratch the third one. Four down. Halfway there. That's five. Six. Got this by the tail. Seven down. Victory is near. That makes eight. Hey, that's nine. I missed one, but I can still win. I did it. I win. I am master of the catapult. Poor fella took a lot of punishment. I'd better hold on to him.
Did you learn anything after visiting the pool, Sir Blaze? No, sire. I hope it will not reflect poorly on me. Interesting. I wonder what that means. <laughs> well, as soon as all my knights are back, we shall discuss what to do next. I don't have... I'll just take the Monarch Quarterly along in case I get a sudden bout of insomnia. Try this. <laughs> when I learn... <sighs> Must keep wooden pipe in perfect condition. I don't know what I'd do without my pipe. <laughs> ah! We're doomed! A total rat attack! Any second now, I'm going to be covered from head to toe with rats. Rats up my shirt, down my pants, in my shoes! Stop that over there! What are you, cuckoo? Cut it out! Strangers on the street will say, What a nice fur coat, what a nice fur coat, and I'll say, I'm not wearing a fur coat! I am covered with rats! Dirty, stinking, lousy rats! Knock it off, you! The only rats around here are inside your head! In my head? Oh my god! Get them out, get them out, get them out now! Settle down! Relax! Relax! Untie me, Flicker. Hurry! Uh, Flicker! Oh, good job, lad. Uh, I wish there was a way to show my gratitude. And I wish that a grateful knight would make me a squire. If only there was some way both our wishes could come true. Uh, if you must subscribe to this archaic class system, seek out Loungelot. However, I believe indentured servitude to be a degrading anachronism. Nonetheless, take this gift as a token of my gratitude. Tonight, I don't know what to say, except, what is this? It was awarded to me when I deduced that the world was the shape of a duck. Impressive. Angelot's out of the woods. But I don't know. So lounge a lot. I've been looking all over for you. I've been looking all over for the Black Dragon. I challenged the coward hours ago and he still hasn't engaged me in combat. Combat? No. I thought the king only wanted you to get information about the Black Dragon. Ha! Oh, 
fucking Allfire will forget all about that when I come home dragging the beast by its tail. You expect the Black Dragon to come down here? Why not? It's his turn. After all, I had to trudge all the way up the hill to challenge the brute. It's only fair he should come down to me for the battle. Is there any way I can talk you out of this challenge? No! It's a matter of honor now. Salam. This is no time for talking. I'm a dragon of action, and I'll sit here and wait for that dragon as long as I have to. The Black Dragon is a machine. That makes sense. No self-respecting dragon would ever work for Sir George. Loosen the rope, then get inside that thing! We're do- Not now. <coughs> For Camel Hop! That's it, coward! Run away! Run away and smash into those redwood trees, coward! Some warrior you are! Slug brain simpletons! This is all your fault! Sir Loungelot, what happened? Did you not see it yourself? First, the fiend was not alone. He brought several of his friends! No doubt it's a grand tale, but first, I have something to ask you. Very well, what is it? I'm looking for a knight to squire under. And you want me to be that knight? Out of the question. You're not qualified. On a mission like this, you wear chain mail? Yes, what of it? Mail is fine if you're conquering a continent, but for tracking down dragons, I would have picked out a light wall. While tracking, you need to be light on your feet. You seem to know quite a bit about battlefield wear. I've just now decided that you will be my new squire. If you insist. Tis settled. Now, here's something I think you will need. Soap? Not common soap, simpleton. It's my privately blended laundry detergent for my undergarments, which I expect my squire to scrub every morning. Sir Loungelot, I'm overwhelmed by your generosity. You're very welcome. Now, back to Camel Hot so I can tell the others of my grand battle. King Allfire, the Black Dragon has been defeated! Say what? Good work, Sir Loungelot. You will make a fine king and husband to my lovely flame when you win the... T I mean, <laughs> if you win the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> I am not about to stand here and be given away as a prize in a contest! Blast it all! Flicker! See if you could cool flames, flames a bit, would you? Yes, your firm but fair dictatorship. But first, I have vital news about the Black Dragon. What could you possibly have to report, my puny squire? That the Black Dragon is actually... a machine! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, knight, settle down. We shall resume later. Flicker. Now, please go watch Princess Flame for me. All right, your Purple Mountain's Majesty. I'm running away. But I just became a Squire Flame. If I make knighthood by tomorrow, I can win your hand in the tournament. Sorry, can't chance it. Now, help me find something to lower out the window for me to climb down. It's not like I'm in a hurry to escape or anything. Ali Kazam! Zippity Duda! 
Allez, allez, action free! Form of a waterfall! Knock it off! I tire of waiting for the Chancellor. Where is that scabrous, scaly faced moron? Sir George? Mervyn? Moron, moron, more on this subject later. Mervyn, our friend the Chancellor has arrived. Why have you summoned us here, Chancellor? A meeting like this is quite risky for you. Indeed it is. But Sir Loungelot has told the court that he defeated your black dragon. No matter. For Mervyn here is building a bigger, more powerful, new and improved... Black Dragon 2! The sequel! Excellent. A young inventor here in the castle has created an extraordinary power source. With it, your Black Dragon 2 will be unstoppable. A power source, eh? Hmm, what flavor? <laughs> ah! Now wait here by the castle while I go and retrieve the plans. I'll send them down. Right then. In the meantime, I shall prance about and practice my maniacal laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Flicker, I knew I could depend upon you. Ugh! What kind of knot was that? Weren't you ever a dragon scout, Flicker? Uh, afraid not. Hey! What are you doing here? Uh, let go of me this instant! Flame! What's happening down there? Help me, Flicker! It's broken door! And he's tying me up and putting me in the back of his carriage! I... Go on! Help me! Go, go. <laughs> Flame! A flaming note. It says... Thanks for Princess, was expecting plans. Signed, your pal. Oh no! What plans could they mean? Flicker, what have you done? Depends how much of that last bit you overheard, Chancellor. Most of it. Now tell me what happened, Flicker. Flame was kidnapped, and a flaming note from the kidnappers said that they were expecting some plans. I don't know what plans they were talking about. Simpletons. It should be obvious, Flicker. The kidnappers want the plans to your dishwasher. My steam engine? Yes. Give me the plans and I'll see that the princess is freed. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Fool! You're wasting valuable time! Hey, my... If King Allfire finds out about Flame, he'll have me beheaded for sure. Flicker, where is my daughter? I wish to see her. Hey, you snatched my bag! And that's my invention book! Give it back! Hush, lad. Trust me. You'll thank me for this one day. Now let's get these plans to the kidnappers so our beloved Princess Flame can return to us unharmed. This same day, Carrier Eagle. We'll get the plans there, lickety split. <coughs> Curse you, stupid bird! Oh well, at least I have my backup ground delivery, Dodo. <coughs> the 
If you can't trust me, here's your chance to redeem yourself. Follow the dodo to the kidnapper's lair, rescue the princess, and you'll be a hero. As soon as the little fool gets anywhere near Castle Grimm, he'll be chopped into a dozen pieces by Sir George's guards. Did you say something to me, Chancellor? Oh, no, 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 no. I was just having a small, malicious aside. Carry on, lad. I might be able to use these. I'm certain no one will miss a couple of crackers. I'd better take this along. The princess always likes to look her best. I might as well. They're not much of an heirloom anymore. I beg your pardon? You want to pick a gulp? No, I said you're awfully hard of hearing. Oh, you like my earrings? My son sent them to Mayor. He won them in a contest. Can you suggest a book to read today? Read in the hay? Now that's a good way to start a fire. All you have to do is doze off and whoosh. I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Inventor, and I hope to be a knight by tomorrow. Well, that's fine and dandy, sweetie, but how about the title of a book? Um... You wouldn't happen to have great earthworms named Stanley throughout history? Here it is. It's one of our most popular titles. It exists? I mean, I changed my mind, but thanks. What? I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? What about self-defense with belly button lint? Here it is, Mr. Doubting Thomas, abridged or unabridged. But how? What can I do for you? I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? You you wouldn't have an illustrated guide to stomach flu, volume eight. Oh dear, here's volume five and seven, but it looks like... Oh, oh, wait, here it is! But that's impossible! I'll forget it. I just remembered I already own the whole set. What can I... 
I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? You wouldn't happen to have great earthworms named Stanley throughout history? Here it is. It's one of our most popular titles. It exists? I mean, I changed my mind, but thanks. What can I... Any new books coming? I suggest Fire in the Belly, Taming Your Inner Dragon. It's a must for today's modern dragon. A book for sensitive dragons? Yes, I'd like to read it. Well, you can't. So lounge a lot, chopped it up and burned it. I've got another copy ordered. I need help finding a book. Do you? What about... But how? What can I do for you? Any new books coming? A book for sense... Will you... Can you suggest a book? Read in the hay! I'll just... But make sure you bake it for 20 minutes! What can I do for you? I need... Do you have... You wouldn't happen to have great earthworms named Stanley throughout history. Keep your claws off my duster! Here it is. It's one of our most popular titles. It exists? Nah. Talk is ch What can I... I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Never mind. Oh, how sad. Were you too close? I have nothing to say to that. What can I... I need... Do you have a tight... Never mind, my library card expired like... Oh! Greetings, Trivet! Never mind. I'll... Greetings, Trivet! What do you want, Flicker? I'm busy here. What are you doing? Changing my life. My days as a jester are over. Armed with this book, I plan to stand firm against the opulent bourgeois oppressors whose sole pleasure stems from making me sit on whoopee cushions. It's been months since you've done anything even remotely funny. All you do is sleep, eat and complain. This book, Hypnotism Made Easy, is going to change everything. We'll see how King High and Mighty Allfire likes making me laugh. Care for a demonstration? Okay, but nothing too weird. I don't want to have flashbacks years from now. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be royalty for a day? Pampered like King Allfire or Princess Flame? Yes, what would it be like to be a princess? Now that would be interesting. Yes! Make me a princess! Oh, I've always wondered about you, Flicker. All right, now bear with me. Let's see, turning into barnyard animals, turning into pudding, turning into royalty. Here it is. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you are a princess, although one with stubble.
Hey, sweet cakes! Trivet, what are we doing in the library? Is there any word from Flicker yet? I don't believe it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Flicker was right about you, Trivet. Now where is my father? <laughs> the last time I saw the king, he was in the square table room. You should go hop up on his lap. You do look ravishing today. <laughs> You're quite a little freak, Trivet. I'm leaving. Hello, Daddy. Busy doing kingly things? Flicker, what are you doing? Oh, Father, I've acted like such a fool lately. Can you ever forgive me? I don't care much for this behavior, Flicker. Stop! It's silly. And rather suspect. But, Daddy... That's enough. I mean it. Enough what, King Allfire? Enough for... Flicker? Who else would it be, sire? Are you feeling all right? You've been experimenting with your chemicals again, haven't you? I can tell. Be gone! Weirdo. Blast you, Trivet! Yes, Your Highness, sir. It was so much fun. Let's try that hypnotism thing again. Your wish is my command. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you are a princess, although one with stubble. Hey, sweet cakes! You're quite a little freak, Trivet. Whoa. I have... Blast you, Trivet! Yes, Your Highness, sir. It was so much fun. Let's try that hypnotism thing again. Your wish is my command. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you are a princess, although one with stubble. Flicker, where am I? Where's Daddy? Oh, I simply must talk to him about getting my own castle. Oh, what am I wearing? I can't be seen like this. I must have some proper clothing, or I'm not going anywhere. Here, Princess. Get some clothes on and then go and give your daddy a big smooch. Oh, thank you. You really know how to treat a lady. Now, don't peek. Hello, Father. I understand you wish to speak with me. Oh, there you are, Flame. Go to your room. Oh, Father, is punishment your solution to everything? Do you intend to punish the world? I'll go to my room, but only because it's my choice. Good work, Flicker. You're free to go now. Finally, now I can go after that dodo bird and rescue the princess. For you. Can you suggest a book to read today? Read in the hay? Now that's a good way to start a fire. All you have to do is doze off and whoosh. Any new books coming? 
I suggest fire in the belly, taming your inner dragon. It's a must for today's modern dragon. A book for sensitive dragons? Yes, I'd like to read it. Well, you can't. So lounge a lot, chopped it up and burned it. I've got another copy ordered. I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Never mind, my library card expired. Oh, how... Now to catch up with that dodo bird. I'll take this. Well, I pick up just a... Lance the mold seems weary. I couldn't. Just more trap. How can I follow the dodo to the kidnappers when some loon of a hunter has him trapped?
It's a stamp the shape of a dodo. Look. It's official. Dodo birds are now a protected species. <laughs> you were shooting an endangered species, see? Ordinance number 14602 clearly states that hunting dodo birds is against the law. Oh, it's rough, I tell you, rough. I didn't know. That must be a new law. Huh. I'm gonna throw the book at you. And my aim's better than yours. I'm wild, I tell you, wild. I wonder where that do- We voice our derision at the new rent dishwasher castle! We waggle our posteriors at your girly guards! <laughs> ben Sir George! Ben! Oui, oui, oui! Burn, 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 Sir George! Well, that's that then. Same time next week. Yeah, I can't make it. The Mud Eating Festival. Right, see you in two. I can show this to everyone who said I'd never get ahead in life. I'm certain this has other uses besides paddling. Hey, you in the dragon suit! Are you from Rotten Jimmy's employment agency? <laughs> uh, me? J uh, J Jimmy Rotten's? Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Oh, I told Jimmy I needed some costume help to walk the street and drum up business. <laughs> How much does the job pay? No, not much to start, but in three months, if you haven't been mortally wounded by an angry customer, I'll consider a raise. Are there benefits? Hmm. <laughs> For medical, there's a barrel of leeches in the back. And dental, there's a pair of pliers under the bar. <laughs> Are you the owner of this establishment? Sir Juicelot, at your service, formerly of Sir George's Royal Guard. <laughs> Why did you leave the Royal Guard? Well, Sir George claimed my incessant chattering was annoying, and if I didn't stop, he was going to stretch my tongue out, rub it around my head, and spin me like a top! <laughs> so, what happened? Foot you never ask! After I stopped spinning, I left the guard and opened this place! The only good dragon is a dead dragon juice pub. <laughs> That's quite a name. I'd hate to see your bowling shirts. Tell me more about the pub. Okay, we serve every type of juice here. <gasps> We've got orange, apple, pear, nectarine, kiwi, grapefruit, tangerine, mango, carrot, guava, prune, peach, kumquat, and of course, carrot. You said carrot twice. I like carrot. Cut me and I bleed beta carotene. <laughs> What's so great about drinking juice? Are vous kidding? Look at moi. I'm so juiced up I can read in the dark, tell identical twins apart by the smell of their shoelaces, and hear a caterpillar scratching its armpits from 50 yards. <laughs> I'll accept the job. Well, get out and find some thirsty customers then. Today, answer the door, and then report for beheading! I'll get it myself! Oh, What's this? At last, the plans! I must show these to Mervyn. Enjoy.
enjoy your stroll, gate guard. Remove your helmet. Of course. But why? So this won't hurt me more than it hurts you! Very good, Sir George! So, Sir George is holding Flame captive. And now he has the plans to my dishwasher engine. Not on your life. It's bad enough that it's filled with water, but there's an electric eel in there too. He doesn't seem himself. He might attack if I tried that. I have nothing. That bell... That bell must summon the drawbridge guard. Not so fast! I see you there! Hey, you must be the new pulp boy from the juice pub! State your business! I'd like to enter the castle, please. Unless your name is on the list, you're not getting in. And since there is no list, you're not getting in! Then why'd you even bother answering the bell? To accept deliveries. Would you tell me about this moat? Sure! It circles the castle, it's filled with infectious rancid water, and it's home to a family of electric eels. Care for a death? Is the lady of the house in? Lady Esmeralda is rather indisposed. She and Sir George had words last night. Well, actually, she had words. He had a big rock. When do you expect her back? Well, that depends. Do you believe in reincarnation? I'm sorry. I thought this was Stan and Trudy Dombrowski's castle. Theirs must be the next one over. Honest mistake. State your bed. Uh, I got a delivery for Sir George. Well, hand it over then. It's a pretty odd. It's a pretty. It's a. It's a pretty. Sir George has not. Do you know how hard it is to open this door? It's the back door. Doesn't seem to be guarded. Those crazy humans. Librarian Pure Flame to say she's a. It's the librarian's prized feather duster. It appears to be the library storeroom. That's Librarian Pure. That. What can I do? Any new book? I suggest fire in the belly. Tape a book for sensitive. Well, you can't. Can you suggest read it? I need. Do you? You you wouldn't have an. Keep your. Oh dear. Here's that. That. What? 
I need do you Never Ooh. These are all the textbooks from my famous inventor's home study. This leaf. Three chairs for the, the hip hip. I said three chairs, not three cheers, librarian pure flow. Well, do keep it dull. That wouldn't be appropriate, and it certainly wouldn't be possible. That wouldn't be. Do Never m Oh! I say slow down there, youngster! No one- That wouldn't- What can- I need- No! You wouldn't- Keep your- Here it is! It's one of our- I need... Never... I can't do that. Why, Flicker, you twisted little troll! I'll bet you were hoping to catch me in my unmentionable. the royal pizza chef. He makes a double cheese with rubies that's to die for. But he's not the happiest dragon in town. Excuse me. Oh, solo mio. Nothing is free. Oh, my life is so depressing. <laughs> it's an affair and an jest. Oh, what is the point? It seems like not much. What do you want, a flicker? I'm busy being upset. What's the problem? What isn't? Ah, uh, it's been such a long time since I had a good laugh, you know? Like when you laugh so gosh darn hard you think your heart is gonna explode? Maybe it would help if I told you an amusing anecdote. What's the matter, you? I'm not sick. I don't need no antidote. Well, you need something to put a smile on your face. What do you want, a flicker? Can Trivet cheer you up? 
Ha! You crazy? Ha! That a stupid dragon wouldn't know a joke even if I served it to him like a larger pizza with the extra opals. Well, I know he's not that funny, but... Funny? Ha! He's not even close. He makes me even more depressed than I am. Excuse What? Don't be so depressed. At least you have a nice paddle. She's a beauty, no? <laughs> it's a one of a kind, irreplaceable. So you wouldn't want to sell it? I just said it's irreplaceable. That means I no cannot replace it. Sis! Boo! What about self-defense with belly button lint? Keep your claws off! Here it is, Mr. Doubting Thomas! Abridged or unabridged! What can I do for you? Any... I need help! It's a book from the Royal Library titled Crushing the Will of the Weak with No Remorse. Crushing the will of the weak with no remorse. I'm certain we have a copy. You wait here. It's like... Hey! <laughs> hey! What do you think you're doing, you crazy dragon? <laughs> oh yeah, you better stop it that right now! <laughs> hey, you want a crazy kid? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
This should fix those crows. That's better. Now this garden can grow. I'm sure some use for this corn will pop up. I was one. Back off, lad. I am not thirsty. In fact, I have been so busy working, it has been a week since I've eaten. Would you like a cracker? What I would really like is a steaming bowl of dragon tail soup with big chunks of meat floating in it. Perhaps crackers might do. Oh, yummy! Mm -hmm. These are salty dick crackers, are they not? Mm -hmm. Just one bite, and I find I am thirsty enough to drink an ocean. Things are really hopping now. We're starting to get a crowd. Help me out back here and take care of those monks. They love the prune juice special. <laughs> Dragons won't eat prunes, but I'm sure I'll find someone who does. Bring his juice, so I... What do you think you're doing? Those are mine! Ooh, there were the Holy Order of the Purple Intestine! Now help them! What's the big deal? When I was Baby Brute, my sweet old granny read me funny papers when she was out on parole. Okay, I'll make it a point to stay one, no, two steps away from them. Two step? Why don't I just shuffle out of here? Hustle on out. Shuffle? Hustle? Those are dancing words. You want funny papers? Dance me for them on stage, girly dragon. Okay, silly man in a dragon suit. Let us see if you can boogie with the big boys. Okay, I'm ready. Bad for the easy peasy little beginning. Now for round two. You are one lucky cookie. Try to dance your way through this if you can. your daughters, cos I am the new dance king. Go 
over and serve those guys! They're looking pretty good. Refill it us, please! A gift suitable for a king. After he eats the prunes, he can sit around reading the funny papers. Go over and serve those guys! I don't think that will... Nothing I really... Hello, how are you? Splendid! Oh, I can't thank you enough for dragon me in here! <laughs> Get it? Dragon? You could improve your bat design. I can't make it any flatter. It's hard enough to swing as it is. How about something rounded and tapered with less wind resistance? Oh, I would be most interested in trying a bat such as that. I regret that I cannot turn water into prunes. Hello? Split. Aren't you a bit... I was thinking the very same thing. With heavy clothing, it is difficult to do the most important thing in my new game. What? Swing at the ball? Slide into home? No, scratch yourself. I am thinking that the players will do much scratching and spitting as well. Ooh, there were the Holy Order of the Purple Intestine. Now help them. Holy she. what we have here. I'll be very upset if this is another pile of horse. Prunes. Mm. <laughs> mm, so good. <laughs> Sir George, now slow down. Remember what happened last time? Oh no! Too late! Oh, blast! Out of my way! <laughs> Essence de Sir George. Smells just like the real thing. Sir George's castle. What a wretched... I'm 
may be here for a while. The front door is an iron-bound oak with an armed guard, but the back door isn't even latched. Here be George's wife, same in death as was in life. The end. Your Majesty, I thought you were still ensconced on the porcelain eminence. That is you, isn't it, Sir George? I hope you don't want your armour. We should wait until your stomach settles down. Uh, uh, no! I want my armour now! Does your Majesty remember it takes a fortnight to de-rust your armour every time you have one of your little accidents? Very well, let me feel your face. What? It's your own rule, sire. Last year, imposters stole your armour six times. So to verify that it's really you, I must touch your face. No! I touched myself earlier and I'm sure it's me! No touch, no armour. It's a... Interesting, I... Wait, that smell would make a buzzard look up from a dead buffalo. It's you all right, Sir George. Now stay away from those prunes and take this rust be gone in case you have another accident and your armor seizes up on you again. I've built a new black dragon and installed my dishwasher steam engine in it. There, the gate is securely closed. This stairway goes down somewhere. I should probably invest. Long now, Princess Flame. Once your father's mystic royal scepter is in my hands, the universe will be mine. Mine! <laughs> You're wasting your breath, you megalomaniac. I make it a point never to listen to other people's psychotic episodes. Foolish creature. Once the Black Dragon 2 is fully operational, your value as a hostage diminishes to around... Let's see, carry the four... Um... Zero! You will like it in the Psycho Ward. They have tapioca. This must be where Mervyn hatches his dastardly schemes for world domination. I have... These... You imbecile! I've got your code right here. Code has been verified. Launch. What the devil is all that racket? I get on a really good diabolical roll, and then what? Oh, I'd better investigate. 
How could you let this happen, you fool? Sir George entered the code correctly. I was only doing my job. What in the world possessed you to do such a thing? Really, what were you thinking? Hmm? Who says I was thinking? This is my castle, and I'll do as I please. Princess Flying, get away from me, you gangrenous brute! Flame, I must talk to you. You disgust me, Sir George. Go stick your head in a manure pile. Again? Psst, get away. It's me, Flicker. I have no desire to play games, Sir George. If you were really Flicker, you'd know my birthday. You were born on December the 6th. You weighed 96 pounds and your first words were Flushy Mooga. Oh, your spies have done their homework, Sir George. But I vow to remain silent until I am rescued. Whoa! Let's see if you can fetch that! What an ingenious little pup! He brought the keys to the cell! It really is you, Flicker! You've gotten so forceful! Running away is so overrated! <laughs> I'll race you home! Why is I live and breathe fire? It's Sir Lancelot! <laughs> Be still, my heart! Flame, it is I, Sir Lancelot. What's on your mind, you hunky, well-proportioned slab of dragon? You're what's on my mind. Regardless of your feelings for me, I will have you. Oh, talk is cheap, scabbard breath. Let's see some action. Your wish is my command, my saucy little tart. Ouch, but I didn't know you cared. No! Where could she be? I sent my knights out hours ago to find her. Flicker, there you are, you... you... Where is Flame? Hi, Daddy. Flame? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I was so worried about you. King Allfire, this was entirely my fault. I have no problem in believing that. But before I deal with you, I need you to go out and bring back my knights. Understand, dish boy? Flame, go to your room. Oh, Father, is punishment your solution to everything? Do you intend to punish the world? I'll go to my room, but only because it's my choice. Now, to bring back the King's Knights.
Those humans were building a trap. All four knights are stuck inside. Brave knights, are you well? We're just peachy. Thank you for asking. I'll search for a way to stop this crazy thing. No! Sir George's men trapped us here to raid the mines of Camelhot! They must be stopped! But Sir Loungelot... No arguments! Stop Sir George's men from raiding the mines! I have to stop the humans from invading the royal mines. for Sir George, stealing coal from f Hurry, Harold, hurry! Hello, little fellow. Mm. Hello yourself. Did I wake you up? It's not you. I didn't get much sleep last night. How's the gas situation? I take it you mean here in the mine? Everything's fine. Although every once in a while I act like I'm in a faint just to throw a scare into these guys. A little job security? A bird's gotta eat. Who do you work for? Said George, but not directly. I subcontract. I heard he doesn't pay well. I managed to take care of the bells. Why don't you grab some shut-eye? I'll cover for you. I need some time to think about it. I am a blade brain, you know. I'll leave you. How about a magazine to keep you occupied? <sighs> no, that's a splendid idea. Would you mind holding it open for me? It would be my pleasure. Mm, let's see here. Hmm, a speech. My dearest loyal subjects, blah, 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 it's truly an honor, yawn, blah, 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 and then when I turned five, yawn, blah, blah. I can pick and choose with this. No questions asked. Nope. That. That would be pretty fun. Thanks. Jeff. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Ember from Local 47 sent me. Eddie Ember? Eddie got me into the union? I'd give him a lung if he needed it. You want these stilts? Take them. I don't need them anymore. Not with the sign dropping down. I just hunt for food to survive. This should do the job.
Hey, pal, thanks a lot. Wait till the guys back at the mound hear about this. Hey, if I can ever help you out of a jam, give me a call. Or better yet, blow this whistle, and my friends and I'll come running. Or maybe strutting. I'm not sure. I just hunt for food to survive. All right, then hunt just. Let's get to the bottom of this. Step two, three, four. Up on toes, down on floor. Heel pivot, toe pivot. This is how we dance. Dig it. I'd have to get a little closer. I'd have to get... Not you again. Hey, what do you do? It's, it's jammed in... You make me angry! Well, I've got what I need, and speaking to you as a friend, you've really got to work on your attitude problem. My goodness! Oh, that's it! The perfect bat! I should be able to smash the ball a mile! Here, take my old one! Bring his juice so our innards may flow freely. Go over and serve those guys! Magical home of the Lady of the Lake. Look, something magical's happening. Oh, what are the chances? Oh, all this rubbish everywhere. What's a lady to do? I got you now, fish lady. Speedy, quick. Oh, let me go. You root. Oh no! That fisherman just caught the Lady of the Lake! Help me! That fisherman's got no regard for his natural surroundings. This ought to enlighten him a bit. Flicker, is there... Any way I can thank you? Yeah, I got an idea. You could dribble melted sapphire sauce on my... Whoa, wait a minute! I'm promised a princess flame! <laughs> After me, you'd forget all about that little princess. Okay. Wait, 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 stop! Actually, what do you know about the Cave of Dilemma? 
Great parties ever since we banned the trolls. Actually, I'm kind of the bouncer since I control the waterfall that opens it. I thought it was a place where squires are tested for knighthood. Only on weekdays to pay the rent. Well, I need to get up there. I'm trying to become a knight. Ah, oh, let me see. Got any powdered unicorn's horn on you? I left it at home. Silly me. Oh, that plan's no good then. Hmm. Oh, I could turn you into a nymph. Then you could dance up the waterfall. Of course, you'd have to remain that way for a millennium. Hmm, seems like a pretty steep downside. Well, I guess I could just shut it off and you could take the stairs. A bit boring if you ask me. At this point, I'll take boring. Oh, as you wish. Go to the falls on the morning of the tournament and it will be off. Oh. You could make me a knight right here and now. Oh, baby, baby, baby. The best things in life are long and hard. I knew you were going to say something like that. My job's done here. Plus, it's getting kind of warm. I couldn't. Presenting Flicker and the stupendous stilt walk of certain suicide. Coming soon to a medieval tournament near you. All the sword's enchantment appears to have gone directly into the dryer. Well, so much for that master of all myth. The setting must have been too high. I got popcorn instead of dried corn. I'm sure some use for this corn will pop up. Now it's set on delicate. Perfectly. No. This doesn't... Now... 
now I can put my plan into action. Sir Knights, hold these paddles straight out and tilt them a bit to catch the wind. Thundering fool, you nearly killed us! Cassidy picked up a sensible force and inertia, thus dragging his limb. Most astute flicker, you dastardly young cullion. <laughs> oh no! Wait, we forgot about the princess! The princess is safe. King Allfire sent me for you. To Camelhot Knights! Perhaps King Allfire will forgive me now. Well done, Flicker. It appears that you are starting to take responsibility and clean up after yourself. As you know, loyal knights, tomorrow is the tournament. The victor will be your new king and will wed my daughter. I suggest you retire for the evening. But Sire, what if Sir George shows up with another black dragon? Ha! Not unless he knows karate, Flicker, you little sissy. Father, I beg you to reconsider and let Flicker participate in the tournament. Dear, the only hope for Flicker is if he can earn his knighthood by tournament time. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now, lizard boys. Oh, I've overslept on tournament day. I hope the Lady of the Lake turned off the waterfall for me. I need to get up to the Cave of Dilemma to become a knight. Castle Grimm's... Everyone must be at the tournament. I have no... Rather... 
Okay, it seems safe enough. No puddles or anything. The cave of dilemma is closed. So go away. Scram, take a hike. I'm retired. I can't believe this. After all I went through to get up here. Wait a minute. How long have you been retired? What time is it? <laughs> but seriously, what's the matter? I have to become a knight. Let me guess. A giant troll has invaded your castle and all the regular knights are off at a swordplay seminar. Oh, no, no. The king's evil twin brother has taken over the castle? <gasps> a twisted gnome has made everyone in your kingdom speak Esperanto. <laughs> I've got it. I'll bet you're in love. That's it. Princess Flame's honor is at stake. I have to become a knight. Will you help? Ah, problem number 449. No problem. I have the rest of my life to start my retirement. Who are you? I'm guardian, gatekeeper, and janitor of the Cave of Dilemma. I bought the place from Mystic Mel three millennia ago. The name's Ancient Al. Ancient Al? That must have been a rough name to grow up with. You're a funny little schmickle, aren't you? Tell me a bit more about those challenges. We've got the test of dexterity, the test of strength, the test of eye-hand coordination, and the test of something a wee bit scary. Which one do you want to know about? The test of something a wee bit scary? I don't get it. Well, it used to be called the test of ultimate terror, but Sir Cravenhard the Hesitant complained to the Fair Challenge Bureau, so I had to tone it down. Now, through semi-mystical means, I pick through your mind and locate whatever you dread the most. Then I bring that thing to life and annoy the heck out of you with it. Okay, I'm ready to give it a go. Okay, there's the test of dexterity, the test of strength, the test of eye-hand coordination, and finally the test of something a wee bit scary. Pick one, kid, pick one! I guess I'll face the test of something a wee bit scary. Ooh, that one's a wee bit scary. Save it for later, you little schnatzel. How about the test of dexterity? Okay, this one is simple. Get all three porcupines spinning at the same time to win. Are you ready? Pick one kid. I'll choose the test of Okay, just a bit of heavy lifting. See that rock? Rock? That's not a rock. It's a landmass. It's a challenge, you little snuggy. If it was easy, we'd be up to our armpits in nights. Just move the rock a few feet over that way. A few feet? Is that all? I suppose you'd like me to juggle it as well. So, so lounge a lot. I'm supposed to be saving this for lounge a lot's laundry. I'm supposed to be. 
I'm supposed. And three, one, two, three, heave. Way to go! Who knew those little buggers were that strong? All those years I stepped on them, they could have killed me! Yay! That's a good start, you little schmizzle. Pick one, kid. Pick one! Let's try the... There's a bunny rabbit in each hat. One is healthy, and the other three have rabies, and they love to bite. Keep your eye on the healthy rabbit as they jump around, and be sure to pick that hat. Got it? And what if I pick the wrong one? Don't be a baby. A little rabies never killed. Um, just follow the healthy one. Concentrate, Flicker. Away we go! Pick a hat, Flicker! Don't be shy. Ah! So young. Oh, that's... Pick one. Let's try... Concentrate, Flicker. Away we go! Pick a hat, Flicker! Don't be shy! Oh, that's a... Pick one, kid! I guess I... You've got... Concentrate, Flicker. Away we go! Pick a hat, Flicker! Don't be shy! Ah! So you... That's... Pick one... Remember... Hey, 
attention! Tell me a bit... Shoot! Tell me about the test of dexterity. The outcome of this challenge is up in the air. No dragon has ever returned successfully from this trial. Well, there was one, but it was a really close shave. What about the eye-hand coordination test? For this challenge, you must pull a rabbit out of bunny hopping hats. Don't sweat it if you can't keep your eyes on them every single second. The rabbits have to rest, you have to rest. Just be sure you do it at the same time. The test of... Well, it used to be called the test of ultimate. Okay. That's a... Pick one. How about... Remember... It's heavy duty rust be gone. Sh it... I'm sure I could find a good use for this. Nope. That's not right. It's a bottle of Hair Club for Dragons. Guarantee. That's not. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. That wouldn't be. This doesn't sink. This does This is Don't get all weepy. You'll put your fire out. This is over. You'll never become a knight with... and I'll be able to tuck my bangs into my socks. What I'd really like to have is that hair tonic. How about you hand over the bottle and I'll give you my clippers. How a Remember This seems to Plus they seem to like it Oh. 
nice one, kid. Of course, we're gonna have to send those guys south for the winter now. Yeah, that's a pick one. I guess I'll fight. Trust me, you won't like it. Do one of the other. Let's. Keep your eyes up. Concentrate, Flicker. Away we go. Pick a hat, Flicker! Don't be shy. Keep your... Concentrate, Flicker. Away we go! Pick a hat, Flicker! Don't be shy! I'm proud of you, kid. And I'll have you know that not a single rabbit was harmed during this challenge. Yay! I'm ready for another challenge. Come on now, kid. Now it's time to face something a wee bit scary. Do it for your old Uncle Ancient Al. Oh well. I suppose it's time for the test of something a wee bit scary. What in the world is that? It looks like all the old dirty laundry beneath my bed. So I hate doing laundry. Is that a crime? Does that make me evil? Wicked? Acknowledging your fears is the first step to facing them, lad. You must conquer the diabolical laundry beast in order to pass this challenge. Wow! It doesn't seem to mind soap at all. No. That would... Relax, it's not the end of the royal. This is... You'll never be...
I can't! I'm not a chemist, but I think I can use this. of a thousand wash cycles? I've taken care of you for good. Nice work, kid. If you hadn't held this starch, you'd be in for a rematch. You've passed the test! When you first walked in here, I didn't think you had what it takes. So that means I'm a knight? Not yet, you little schnutzy. Your reward for passing the almost impossible challenges of the Cave of Dilemma is this cubic zirconia! You can redeem this for our knighthood in any kingdom in the world. Thanks for your help, Ancient Owl. You got what you came for, so go! If you get our chance, drop me a line. I'd like to know how things turn out. He won't write. They never do. <sighs> I hope there's still time to compete in the tournament. I don't... I beg your pardon. Yeah! Thank you. 
Flicker, come over here. By George, by Dragon, you've done it, haven't you? <laughs> Hand over the cubic zirconia. Night as you become as that is all as. Ouch! <laughs> This has been one exciting tournament. Joining me in the booth is my special guest, Jacques Strap. What are your thoughts so far, Jacques? Well, uh, well you know, for the, uh, we're going to, uh, down for you. I couldn't have said it better, champ. Sir Flicker of Camelhot, newly knighted just this very morning, has emerged as a Dark Horse favorite. Well, you, uh, move for, uh, the move? No thanks, Jacques. Just had a cap. Now, young Sir Flicker goes head-to-head -head against veteran Sir Gasflame in the vicious log-rolling competition. Well, we are to for more. An astute observation, champ. With that victory, young Sir Flicker shall meet Sir Lounge a lot in a contest of cunning, strength, and courage. I am speaking, of course, of the very butch and dragonly sport of thumb wrestling. You call that thumb opposable? You never had a chance, boy. Curious how a good snooze can strike out of the blue. I missed that last part. Do it again. I'm ready, sire. This time I'll sh You call that thumb opposable? Never had a chance, boy. <gasps> Are you certain that was a miner eating a hedgehog over there? Hmm, perhaps not. Oh, I missed that last bin. Continue, brave. Sort no fair. Flicker, you won. You won. And I have to admit that I am surprised at the outcome of this tournament. It was never in doubt, sire. I have the most cunning thumbs in all of Camelhot. But I was supposed to be the winner. I'm supposed to marry Flame. To be crowned the true king of Camelhot. Too late, foul brute. The tournament is over. Your time is past, King Smallfire. Loyal knights, defeat this monstrosity. Wow, what an entrance. The black dragon almost cleared up the entire arena. something mm. 
No. No, that... Dragon! Bopped him in a jiffy! Oh, I better get back to the tournament to see how everyone is doing. You dimwit! You wrecked another black dragon! That's it! I quit! Oh, quit your whining! And build me a black dragon free, magician. Oh, yeah. I'll make you a black dragon, all right. Consider this my resignation! Whoa! That was a mistake. Give me back my scepter! Oh, your wish is my command, mighty Mervyn. Join your scepter! I am the Inferno Incarnate! Nobody will stand between me and legal and binding ownership of this kingdom. I order you to leave Camelot this instant! You order me? You're not fit to order me lunch! Say, there's an idea. Lunch. <laughs> I think I'll start with a shrimp! What a jerk! You ate the king! You can't eat the king! And a little cream puff for dessert. Now, to survey my new land before I scorch it black! It's not fair! I go to all the trouble of creating the ultimate weapon, and the ungrateful contraption eats me! Start it'll blow! Fiddle with your joystick as much as you are, dragon! I have one of my own! Hey, it sounds like the engine. Sort of. Are you playing with that lever again? Stop it! You'll go blind! It's pointless for you to speed it up. I can simply slow it down. I don't understand. How could it stall? Novel. Oh, that's just marvelous, lizard boy. to freedom lies ahead. Only something unpredictable and very heavy can stop me now. <laughs> Mervyn, you utter fool! Fool? Oh, are you ungrateful, bloated Cretan? I made you. You are where you are today, thanks to me. Then thanks for putting me up a tree, you cross-dressing pillock! 
What a stroke of luck, sire, landing on top of the Royal Mattress Factory like we did. Oh, I haven't felt this young in years. I think I have another 500 years of ruling in me. <laughs> Let me ask you, Flicker, if you didn't really want to run the kingdom, why did you enter the tournament? Well, sire, apart from the usual reasons of macho bravado and general stupidity, it was to save Princess Flame from having to marry against her will. I see. Flicker, your actions over these past few days have shown you to be a lad of noble character, with a brave streak bordering on the suicidal. <laughs> I think you would be the perfect suitor for my flame. Is that all I had to do to impress you? I would have done that years ago. It sure seems a long way back to the castle. Yes, I don't remember it being this far. Seems like we're standing on a treadmill. I think I figured it out, Flicker. We're on a shortcut. A shortcut? Quite. Why, I bet the designers took a shortcut by looping this road in 20 frames. That explains it. Can you believe the audacity of those guys? Yeah, Murray, it's me. Hold the phone real close, pal. I've got something real personal to tell you. You're fired! You stink! You're not an agent, you're a curse! <laughs> I'll tell you what's the matter. It's this gig you got me. The one with the dragons and knights and crap. It's a dog, Murray. And this business with the computers and the interactive games is not the wave of the future, Buck Rogers. It's the wave that washes dead fish up on shore. It stinks worse than you do, and it's never going to catch on! All you do is walk around picking up enough stuff to fill a shopping cart. Oh, and get this, the bag they give you to put it all in is tiny. I mean, there you are, hefting around half a ton of useless crud that you probably couldn't lift with a damn crane. Suspend your disbelief if you will, folks. You break your back to find some toenail clippings that you're going to have to use later on with some belly button lint to make an atom bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and get this. If there's some kind of problem that the programmers can't be bothered to deal with, they just say it has Maxine. Who writes this stuff, for Pete's sake? Oh, and then they go and cut half my lines to give more screen time to that flicker kid who, just between you and me, is lousy. <laughs> I don't care, Murray. Now, why don't you start earning that 20% you're stealing from me and get me some TV work? Here's an idea. Team me up with some young lookers and we can go solve crimes. Trivets angels or something. Look, I've got to go before these spuds start working on a sequel. Huh? I don't care if my contract says I have to. Oh, I just won't show. What are they going to do, sue me? Oh, yeah, good point. So I'll be in the next one. But only if they get someone who at least graduated from high school to do the graphics. You work on it. Okay, baby, I'm out of here. If you want me, I'll be at two bunch getting a soak in the mud. All right, love to you too. <laughs>